gonna be annoying. And what I mean annoying is just running back and forth from there. I guess I should have left the enchantment table down here. So my general reaction to certain things is anger because I'm an angry person. But everybody who knows me, like personally, uh, thinks I'm one of the nicest people around. Hi. And that's because I know anger is one of my main character traits, and I don't like that. So, out in public, you will never see me angry, because it's embarrassing. To me, if I can't control my emotions, I'm embarrassed because I can't control myself. So, anger is kind of like a, I can't control my actions. Plus, doing many years of retail work and dealing with people coming in. Yes, I'm looking for the Christmas album. It's red and green. Do you know who it is? And I'll be like, well, Bing Crosby's Christmas, of course. But uh, with retail, you can't show any anger. Uh, you kind of plaster a smile on your face, even if it is fake, and just go, go with it. Go, ah, thank you, ma'am, for your your input I will think about it um, so I'm able was able to basically what I'm saying is if you fake a smile eventually that smile becomes real so if you're sad or whatever which I tend to be also um, because I, I deal with depression a lot um, or I used to but I can plaster a smile on my face and I know I took two times with the leather. Cool. I'm able to kind of fake it and eventually my faking it turns it into a real thing. So I think faking it at first is a good way to become a happy person. Even though I am my inside I get angry but I am able to control it and say well this is just how I am it's not this person's fault that I feel this way it's my reaction to them which is wrong and it's not worthy to get really angry with them and lose sleep over it or go over my head over and over again how I'm gonna get them back and whatever I'm not an eye for an eye person, that's for sure. I'm more of a Buddhist monk. I even shave my head. Ooh. Even the Butters guy died with two hits. Come on, guys. I need more of you. I want to enchant another pick. I'm going to try and make this a... Uh, yeah. A five. Hold on. Already for the water. Oh, that's gonna sound good on. I might cut that one out because that's gonna be 20 decibels louder than everything else. Don't hit the microphone with a glass of water. Come on. I need more than this. I think I'm being impatient. And that's a lot of my anger, too. It's, most of my anger is from impatience. I remember when I was a kid, my uh, my mom was like a Sunday school teacher. And uh, there was, I guess it's Christian, I don't know. There was an album, I forget who it was from. I don't remember it now. But my mom told me to listen to this particular song, and it was like, have patience, have patience, no need to worry too much. <laughs> and it was really slow, but it was a song about having patience. Die. 
Yeah, I have no patience when it comes to driving also. So it was nice uh, talking with my bro. He is 14 years older than me. No, 12 years older than me. Which makes him really old. You know how old he is? He could be a member of an elderly... Oh, God. There's like communities down here for the elderly that are 55 plus. He can belong to one of those. Yeah. Yeah. Man. Wow. It sounds like I gotta kill a couple of babies. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come here. Oh, you're still alive. Another. I really gotta figure out a way to do it. I think... Hmm. If I put a hole there... What happens to the regular mobs? Do they sink down? Do they go up? The chicken's dying. There's you. Oh, hey. I forgot that you can get out of that hole. Hmm. Maybe if I... Put a water... Well, actually, I'm not even going to bother today. I was thinking if I, uh, wait, let me cut this out again. If I put a water source here to move it over in that direction, then dug another hole down and put a sign there and put lava at the bottom of it, that would get rid of the babies. But I'm not sure. I don't know. It's not like this is going to be my primary primary way of getting experience. It's just my way right now. Come on. Go. 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 Oh, I came up with a name for the dungeons. Not the dungeons for the uh, mining shaft I've made for the whole area and I forget what I was going to call it let me just see something while I'm AFKing I can look it up open what am open oh lovely thank you the suicide pit yeah I think that's what I'm going to call those mines, the suicide pit. The reason is, is because scouting the location for the mines, my horse, Chocolate Cream, died. And then I died at the very lowest level I was going to be digging. I just dug the staircase right into lava and just walked right into the lava and I had my death. So, um, the suicide pit sounds good to me. So who is going to rule in the suicide pit? Come on. Because, um, I am going to have different kingdoms in this area, and this is... The suicide pit's obviously going to be a, uh, I guess I've already called it a dwarven thing because I'm basing it on Moria, but it's not going to be nearly as awesome as Moria, so that's why I don't want to use the Moria name because I don't, look at all those freaking creepers near my bed. Hi. Hi. I'm juking you. 
Yes. I'm showing off and getting myself killed. Hmm. Hmm. Bye. Um. Oh, okay. It's just becoming day. Now let's just stay up. Kill some of this. So I guess there's uh, some more clues to the 1.9. Oh, really? Screw you. Oh, I don't even have a bow yet. Please don't make a hole. Okay. He made a hole. Dang you. Let me eat. I guess I gotta recover a little bit of health. Mm-hmm. Really? I'm uh, really at two hearts there. And then there's a creeper following me. I don't think so. Consuelo. Just making sure there's no more creepers around. Oh, there's one. I really gotta make... Do I have any... strength? Thank you. I wasn't sure if I could handle another hit. No creeper, no cry. No creeper, no cry. Hey, I got three arrows. No creeper, no cry. Dang you. That's not where I like to keep that. Go away. I feel better now. I have a bow again. Oh, just something else I can enchant. Excellent. Let's see what we got. The book will do unbreaking. The pickaxe will do efficiency. I feel like my life is online here. I don't see no creepers. And the bow... Flame. Really? Well, you know what? Let's take it. That's all you are. You are pitiful. Oh my god. I'm, I'm disgusted with that bow. At least it's not like before, when you had to get 50 levels, then you'd lose them all when you enchanted. Enchanting is so much better now. It's kind of made the game cheaty. But hopefully, uh, with this update, they do the right things and make the game... A little more, I don't know if, if, there should be different variations of how to play the game. You should have, um, if you want to be like in building mode, which I guess is creative, I don't know, something, you know, vanilla style building, or you can make the hostile mobs really bad and make it a survival game. Right now I've been just playing at survival. I don't know why I brought the string down with me. But, um... <clears throat> ah, excuse. But eventually I'm going to be in the building stage. So, uh... We're going to sit down here and get another three levels. And chant... A book or something. And uh, get better stuff. And if we have enough time, I might do another uh, line of that branch. And then if I do have enough diamonds and stuff, I'm going to start working on the actual mine. Making it look like the designs I've been working on. 
which I need a lot of andersite for. And I gotta go find um, some mossy. Well, actually, not find it, but. Hi, guys. Thanks for joining the party. Can I just turn down hostile creatures? There we go. Just for now. That's better. Um, I do need a ton of andesite because uh, you have your main main um, stone that you're gonna use for the build. Which I my main thing is basically gonna be just stone. So I'm gonna be cooking up a whole bunch of stone. Uh, stone bricks are gonna be the other thing. Andesite's gonna be the 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 block that's gonna be this the point block, the point of interest block um, for the walls. But I'm also going to have the cobble and the stone bricks, the cracked stone bricks, and the mossy cobble. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Now you know why I was eating the halls. Another drink so I can get my... Sorry about that. Whoa. So those are going to be the main blocks. And I'm decided. It's going to be a. What was it? One, two, three, four, five, six, wait. Two, four, six, eight, nine by nine chunk cave that is two chunks tall so it's nine times 16 Jeez. Uh, 144 is that right sounds good for me right now um, approximately and 32 blocks high and there's gonna be no lighting in there whatsoever so this should be a blast to uh, record and show I'm going to use the only um, lighting I'm going to do is uh, half slab lighting. Like I'm going to have blocks of nether rack lit on fire hidden behind half slabs that are 32 blocks up in the top of the mine. And it's not really going to be the actual mining place. It's just going to be the room to get to the mining place. Think of where, you know, everybody's seen it was the Fellowship of the Rings. The big cavern right outside of Balin's tomb, I think it was Balin. And uh, the Balrog came with all those tall pillars. Everybody has done it. Well, not everybody. Anybody who's liked Minecraft has made something similar to that. Okay, so when they're jumping up and down, that's when they can hit me. Because sometimes when a mob falls down, they... Um, oh, did I just get a thing of iron? I did. Um, they can hit you better than if you're just standing here. I don't think this guy can actually hit me. Can you? But if they're falling and they keep jumping up and down, those are the ones that can hit me. Even the ones that... See, he's jumping up and down, so he can hit me. So I wonder what that is. We'll figure that out someday. And by the time I figure it out, they'll fix it. Oh, opening chests. That's a good thing. Wait. Wait. I'm going to hide my pervy side. So just a couple more of those guys and we can go and chant again. I hear you. Where are you? Oh, I saw you. There you go. You're playing near my feet. Come here. Ah. 